Hello friends and welcome to tutorial number three. Today we're going to be talking about the Citicon button control. This is one of the controls that is frequently used by developers and loved at the same time because of its capabilities and many a feature it has. So you drag and drop the button onto the wind form. So there are many things that we can do with this button and there are many customization you can make with this button. So we're going to start by seeing the default features of this button. So without doing anything, let's run the project. Let's wait for the project to reboot and run. There it is. So you see some hover features have been applied. And when the button is clicked, the fill color is also applied. So we have not done any customization. This is the default features. So let's apply some customization. You can use these smart tags or you can go to the properties tab. So we're going to use the properties tab. We're going to start by enabling the animation and then we run the project to see what happens. There it is. You can see some cool animations which we find in the material design system. Yes. So let's try to change the animation color. As you can see that when we click on the button, the animation happens and the a dark color is applied on click. So let's try to change the color. Let's try to change the press color to white and let's run the project now when the button is clicked a white ripple effect is applied because we have changed the press color so the press color is necessary if you want to change the ripple effect each time the button is clicked and we like to change the back color of the button to hot track so that we can better see the white press color that we have applied. And here it is. When we click, we can see some nice ripple effects that are applied on click. This is the press color that we have configured to white. Hence, we can see the white ripple effects. If we change it to red, you can change it to red and see what happens. There it is. You can see the red ripple effect. So if you want to achieve any ripple effect, you just set the button animation property to true and you can customize the press color so that you can set your desired ripple effect so if you look at the second property we have the auto rounded corners when you set this to true you can see the button is changed the corners are set to radial and when you set this to false it reverses back to square and when you set it to true it's changed so let's set it to true and run our project and see what happens there it is the button is now a radio button and the animation still applies so we have not we have not written any code whatsoever this is codeless customization to get you started if you look at this animated gif property we're going to look this in our future videos we can apply some animated uh, gif images onto the button and we're going to see how this works for now, we are going to focus on the basic features of this button and as we make a progression, we will be looking at more advanced features that we find in this button. So we can change the border radius to any value. Let's set the auto rounded to false and let's change the border radius to 5 and let's run the project and see what happens to the design of the button. There it is, a very nice button we have right there. The radius has been changed 
and the corners are curved making a very beautiful button so this is what you can make when you're using a city con button control as you can see we have so many controls um so many properties sorry to this control such that we're going to cover all of these in our upcoming videos there are so many that we cannot really cover them in a single video so these are the basic uh, features of the city con button control in our next uh, video we're going to be looking at the button mode as you can see by default we have a default button mode we also have a radio button mode we also have toggle button mode so we're going to look at this property to see how we can work with these button modes where we can work with these button modes and so forth so until next time friends cheers